We got a fourplex, folks. Four people could be living in this bad boy, and the price is uh, like 120 grand, right? What was it? 100, 122,000. Five hundred dollars market rent more than two grand a month, and it doesn't look like it needs a big old reno, man. The question though, is it actually a good deal, right? That's what my clients, Mike and Gina from Sacramento, want to know, right? On the surface of this, it looks like a screamer of a deal, man. Two K in rent for a hundred twenty-two thousand five hundred dollars, but. As Mike and Gina are from Sacramento and not Cleveland, Ohio, where this is located, they want me to take a look at it, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, Mike and Gina, I'm here to make sure you get your money in if it's good and you keep your money out if it's bad. I am James Wise, and I am here to help you make money. I'm going to be running the numbers on a real deal you want to be here yeah we're gonna go out of state but of course you know my team's gonna take care of that let's check it out all right all right now let's uh peel the curtain back on this sucker right uh this bad boy right big old quad okay big old quad look at this thing and it, it don't look bad right it looks pretty good as a matter of fact right the units uh, appear to be in pretty darn good shape, okay? Nothing fancy, uh, but we're in the low-income space here, folks, so it doesn't really need to be fancy. They got the neutral colors throughout, the white trim. I would have went hardwoods instead of carpet myself, but I looked up the history of this property, and at one time it was actually a two-unit apartment building, not a four-unit apartment building. So it looks like sometime many years ago, uh, they took this huge building and they converted it uh, to more apartments. So what that tells me is it wasn't originally built to be a four-unit apartment building. So your sound insulation is probably not the best between all four of your units. So uh, normally I don't like to go carpet, but in a situation like that, uh, going carpet probably wouldn't be that bad of an idea because you really do need to insulate uh, the sound because your tenants, if the sound is too much between the units, they'll just fight each other like cats and dogs. And you got to deal with all kinds of BS and you don't want to deal with that, okay? So it's a four-unit building and it is priced incredibly cheaply. And we got, of course, what looks to be new hot water tanks and brand new furnaces, Furnaces are like three to three thousand five hundred dollars and last about thirty years, so that's a cost you don't got to worry about. Times four. Hot water tanks are like fifteen hundred these days, last about fifteen years. Got that cost times four, but don't need to worry about it for about fifteen years, man. So that stuff is looking pretty good. Let's see what the sellers had to say. Great opportunity to own an income property. This turnkey duplex with two additional living spaces is located in the heart of Slavic Village. So because it was like a conversion, right, uh, they wrote it up that way, uh, meaning your other two units, probably not legal. That's the only uh, reason they would have wrote it up that way, right? They called it a duplex, called them two additional living units. So uh, you have a duplex with two illegal apartments is what you got. Uh, just located 10 minutes from downtown and under five minutes from the nearest highway. This property is ready to be a cash cow. When fully occupied, this home has a gross income of 2200 a month, 26400 a year. I do not argue uh, those numbers. Those are probably pretty realistic. I said two, but yeah, 22 it's like 50 bucks a unit. Sure, I guess. Uh, if you get away with the illegal units, owner has redone the electrical boxes and meters, replaced both furnaces and freshly painted units two to four, renovated the attic unit. The unit has been recently painted a new vinyl flooring. Windows are vinyl, close to public transportation. This is an as-is purchase. Okay, there actually only is two furnaces. I thought there was going to be four. Uh, so they did the illegal conversion, and they only gave you the two furnaces, meaning you do have to pay heat for the entire building. Okay, so what we have is a duplex with two illegal units, right? Uh, you do have to pay heat. Uh, do I love everything about what I just said? No. Is that in of itself going to be a deal killer? Not necessarily, right? Uh, in the Cleveland market, you got tons of tons of duplexes. 
uh, that have like grandfathered in uh, third units, which sometimes the city will harp on you and you can't rent them. So uh, for an out-of-state investor like you guys, uh, I, I would say proceed with caution on buying properties like this. Uh, I mean, I've seen people rent these units for like freaking 20, 30, 40, 50 years, never have any issues. Uh, but then I've seen people get dick kicked by the city. Uh, so I would say, you know, if you're going to do a deal like that, make sure the numbers make sense for you if you have to stop renting out that third unit or in the fourth unit and it becomes just a duplex, right? So, uh, it makes me dislike it, but not enough to say, yo, don't do it. It's an illegal unit. Like, you're not going to go to jail, but, like, uh, you know, you, d you need to know that that's what you're dealing with, right? So it's not really a true quad. Uh, but to be honest, you, that's not even really my biggest concern with this particular property. The actual physical structure itself is is not, like, the worst thing I've ever seen. It's, like, halfway decent. Uh, that's really not even what I'd be focusing on, right? What I'd be focusing on if I were you guys is the hell of a time you're going to have actually collecting that $2,000 in rent, right? Uh, because uh, I know the listing agent and the seller, right? They're doing their job, right? The listing agent's job, they work for the seller, uh, is to make it sound good, right? To make it sound nice, to make you want to buy it. She's like, oh, it's 10 minutes from Slavic Village, historic Slavic. Bro, it's in the fucking ghetto. This is the ghettoest motherfucking fucking shit show of a neighborhood you could be in, dude. Uh, the numbers sound cool, right? Like, if you ran the numbers, 2200 in rent for 122 k the numbers are off the charts, even with the units being illegal. Uh, it might be worth uh, you taking the gamble on it, but... Uh, that's not your biggest issue. Your biggest issue is you're in the fucking heart of the ghetto, dude. This neighborhood is like a total fucking shit show. It's going to be very hard to collect your rent, right? This is your property right here, okay? Now, when you get into these super ghetto neighborhoods where it's just like crime, trap houses, drug houses, this, that, the other, uh, you get other properties that get like run down, tenants from hell, they come in, they destroy it. Uh, you know, watch the Tens from Hell show on Holton Weiss TV if you guys want to know how bad it could get, because we show it to you. Uh, you know what? As a matter of fact, let's show it to you right now! If I knew, if I knew living here was going to be like this, I would have moved here. Because they act like they run this <laughs> deal. I'm worried about why my electricity keep going on and off. That's cool. Get that last, so... So much in this house. Yeah, you better tell them son of a bitch to drive in your motherfucking trucks. They better learn how to motherfucking drive. You better understand me, because the fucking next motherfucking time, they fucking tired that they fucking don't know how to fucking drive, I'm going to jump them son of a bitch out of his motherfucking truck, and I'm going to beat the fuck out of them. Do you understand me? You better right there, you don't know how to fucking drive. According to the landlord, she believes you have cost her in the ballpark of fifteen thousand dollars. You can do around here. You can see you got some toys. We got two broken windows in this room. Stop! 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 <laughs> so as you see, it, it gets pretty rough, right? It gets pretty rough. Holton lies. Can't ever say we don't uh, try to educate our investors, right? So it can get pretty rough, right? So when you get houses that get destroyed and stuff, um, what happens is they get to the point where uh, the cost to actually fix them would be higher than the ARV because the neighborhood's so fucked up, right? And that's a scenario where you have here. So what ends up happening in that uh, scenario is the owners of those properties, they actually just walk away. Uh, they stop paying the taxes. They let... Uh, it get foreclosed on tax auction, and then the city comes in and they just have to tear it down. Because if they don't tear it down, uh, you have like a vacant house in the middle of the ghetto, 
Uh, then what happens is, like, junkies go there. Uh, you know, they shoot up in there. It becomes a trap house. Hookers get killed. Like, it's like a whole thing, right? It's it's very bad for the other properties in the neighborhood, right? Like, blighted, vacant, abandoned homes like that just breed horribleness and crime. Uh, so the city... Uh, they just tear them all down, and uh, this will show you just how bad of an area this this is, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. 32, let's go on the other side, 36, of those just in this couple streets around your house. And then if you just like go right here, a little bit over on the other side of Fleet, I mean, it gets even worse, right? Like 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91. I don't know if I counted these two, but there's two more right there. You know what I'm saying? So like like 90 or so, just in like that really small area. If I went west, it would probably be the same. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, for you guys, brand new investors from Sacramento, California, you're just going to have a hell of a time. You're in like literally one of the worst possible uh, locations you could be in the United States of America. The numbers sound good, but like, dude. I don't know how you're going to go about collecting it. Like, uh, Holton Wise, we do property management for folks, uh, but we don't even touch neighborhoods that are this bad, right? Because uh, it would hurt Holton Wise. It would hurt the brand, right? Because, like, what happens is, and this is just how it goes, like, uh, when horrible, 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 horrible stuff happens, you get owners who are like, oh, it's the property manager. They're bad. No, the property manager's not bad. You bought a house in the fucking ghetto with bombed out houses. Who do you think lives in these kinds of neighborhoods, folks? If, you, if you're like a reasonable person, you have a decent credit score, you have decent income, uh, and you could essentially live wherever you want because the prices in these neighborhoods are really not even that much lower than like C-grade neighborhoods in the Cleveland market, which by the way, when I say C-grade neighborhoods in the Cleveland market, check out the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. Uh, in that guide, it graded all the neighborhoods in the Cleveland area on an A to F scale so you could like assess your level of risk that's in the notes below but if you're a reasonable human being uh, who can afford an apartment in like the six to eight hundred dollar range uh, do you want to live uh, in an area where if you're walking your dog there's 90 uh, torn down trap houses or do you want to live in an area where there's like 10 or zero right you know what i'm saying like so uh when you get into these neighborhoods right you're usually dealing with like the roughest toughest uh you know worst tenant base right like uh you know when people get out of prison right like felons sex offenders you know things like that uh where do you think they live because they have to live somewhere folks they live in neighborhoods like this right uh this neighborhood i haven't uh actually done like a sex offender search but like in this particular area but guess what the highest concentration of people like that is going to be in your most blighted neighborhoods, right? Because this is the areas where landlords are having a hard time putting in reasonable tenants, so they're taking anybody, right? And that's how you get this blight, and it just compounds on itself, right? So because of that whole wise, we don't even manage this stuff. You can't pay us enough money uh, to deal with the backlash we got to deal with when it comes along with that because you're probably going to be unhappy, number one. Number two, uh, we can't staff our company if we're sending, like, the landscaping crew, the leasing agents. If we're sending them to these, like, super sketchy neighborhoods like this and their cars are getting broken into, they're getting robbed, you know, things like that, it makes my turnover too high. And it's 2022, dude. There's a labor shortage out there. So, like, I don't even touch it. It wouldn't even be worth it. I wouldn't take your money uh, because it would make staffing my company too hard, right? Uh, you know, 
I've been around the game. I've done too much real estate investing to deal with something uh, that is this tough. So then that makes your job as an out-of-state investor even harder because now you don't even get a reputable property manager. You're kind of on your own because most other large property management companies in the Cleveland market, they take the same stance. It's really only the Craigslist Cowboys that aren't really licensed that will handle garbage like this. Or like you might get some startup companies uh, that need to get any type of market share they can and they're completely unproven. So uh, for all those reasons, since Mike and Gina, I don't see any scenario where this makes sense for you guys from an investment standpoint. The risk is just too far uh, for your reward. And as far as the value they have there at 120, I mean, dude, I could find duplexes because, again, two of those units are illegal. I could find duplexes in this neighborhood uh, that are selling for like 40K. So I, d I don't see any way this pencils out for a deal. So my opinion is you guys need to pass on this one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.